Hello again, students. Let's do the otter's orange reflection. How many solutions will each function have? So basically, we want to set these equal to zero and solve. And here's kind of the rule, students. If you have an x squared and that equals a positive number, guess what? You're going to have two solutions. If you ever have x squared equals zero, you're going to have exactly one solution. And if you ever end up with x squared equals a negative number, you're going to have exactly no solution. So let's go ahead and swap out the f of x and throw a zero in there. So or just basically solve for x squared. So here's what I would do. Um, I'm going to subtract the 50 from both sides minus the 50. I don't have a lot of room to do this. I'm going to have to do it down here. Here we go. We got negative 50 equals negative 2x squared divided by the negative 2 divided by the negative 2. Looks like I'm going to have an x squared equals a positive 25. That's going to give me two solutions. You don't have to find them. You just have to tell me how many there's going to be. Okay. So 50x squared sets you equal to 0 divided by 50 divided by 50. Yeah, it doesn't really matter x squared is going to equal zero so that means we're going to have exactly one solution and that solution is going to be zero uh, zero is the only number that when you square it turns into zero so yeah there we go that's the only solution there's no such thing as a positive negative zero there's just zero and this last one here i'm going to subtract the 49 from both sides and at first you're like Ooh, 49 that's that's a square i can square root that eh, i'm not sure about that if we have an x squared equals a negative 49, and you try to square root this, your calculator is going to say no. So this is no solutions. There are none. There are zero solutions. All right, that's about it. As long as you follow this rule right here, you're going to be A-OK. -okay. Um, give the number of solutions uh, based off the function. All right, see you in class.